Dean Bockheiser did. I came for a turn in Tupperware. This is Bob, who I thought was my friend, but I guess he's just my pity passenger. Oh, hello. I thought I was your friend, Betty, but friends don't hold friends. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Suzette. Today, you guys, you know, we're going to be making some lamb chops. Christmas is coming up and, you know, you get tired of eating a traditional turkey, ham. Let's elaborate. Let's just go to a whole nother level with some lamb chops. And guess what? Christmas is coming, so I need y'all to enjoy this recipe. Try it out. Let me know. Which you want you go to fix next? Let me know in the comments how you enjoyed this recipe. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. So, with that being said, let's get into this video. Hey guys, so I have two rack of ribs. Um, rack of ribs, lol. Two rack of um racks of lamb here. I got this lamb from Costco's. I've been to Giant Safeway, looking for some uh walk past the meat section real quick, right? So look at this. This is a whole rack of ram for only 17 bucks. Well rounded off $18. That's not bad. Look, your girl got the deal. $14.39. So if you're in the Baltimore area and you're looking for some lollipop um, rack of lamb, please go to Costco's. You won't regret it. So I'm going to take these out the packages. I'm going to get these washed and clean. I'm going to cut these babies up. Um, I'm not going to cook them as a roast. I'm going to cook them as chops because we're going to grill these. We're going to make like a teriyaki glaze to go over top of them. And we're going to cook these medium well. You excited? I'm so excited. Stay tuned. So guys, look, these are our two rack of lamb that are cleaned, trimmed up. I had some flowers that I had to get off there and just trim it up really nicely. Um, we're going to season these and I'm also going to marinate these. Um, and then once I finish marinating them, usually you, sh you know, you want to marinate your meat as long as possible. But in this case, I'm going to marinate them for about an hour. I'm going to season them up, add some oil to them. I'm going to add a teriyaki sauce um, marinade to these so they can get nice and tender. So let's get into the video. So I'm going to be using some seasoned salt and with uh lamb it is a very lean meat right so a little bit of seasoning goes a long way so we're just gonna sprinkle just sprinkle that's about a half a tablespoon guys it's a very lean uh lamb is a very lean meat just want to make sure all parts get some of this seasoned salt I'm going to be using some accent, which is optional. Sorry, guys. I hope you guys enjoying your day. We're definitely relaxing around here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to add some garlic powder. Just a sprinkle, guys. Half a tablespoon. Cumin. Some ground cumin. You definitely want this because this brings out the flavor of the lamb. Half a tablespoon. Hear the game in the background. Y'all know how we be watching these football games on Sunday. Some time. Going to be using some onion powder. Some ground pepper. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. I love the holidays. I love, love, love the holidays. It's time to spend with your family. You go shopping. You can't wait to anticipate Santa. And I'm going to flip these and I'm going to season 
the other side with the same seasons I use. All the seasons that I named use a half a tablespoon. Um, I will put in the description box below. So guys, remember I told you I was going to use the teriyaki marinade? This is the stuff right here. This stuff is amazing. You can put this on any type of meat, any type of seafood. I'm telling you, it is amazing. It's not salty at all. It's just, it, 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 it's, it's amazing. <laughs> so I have my plastic Tupperware here. Then we're going to be putting our lamb chops in, right? So this is what you want to do. I'm just going to put this here, and I'm going to add my oil to this. I'm just going to do it all over. Two tap full of oil for a full rack of lamb. Just going to make sure. Everything is incorporated front and back. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this teriyaki marinade. I'm going to ask about a tablespoon. With my second rack, I'm going to add my oil. And I don't have any uh, olive oil, so this is just vegetable oil that would work just as well. Oh God, I almost lost y'all. Okay. And once again, we're gonna make sure all of our lamb has oil on it. I'm going to add our marinade to the second rack. Nice little drizzle. I'm going to put this in the fridge for an hour. And then we'll be back for the next step. Okay, guys. So the lamb chops have been marinated. I've decided two hours instead of one. They're nice and tender. I basically made them to lamb chop lollipops. I'm going to show you. So these are what my lollipops look like. Just going to lift one up. Literally like a lollipop, right? I have my on top of the stove grill heating up. I just added some oil so that they wouldn't stick. Let's get into this video, guys. So I grilled nice and hot. That's what you want to hear. It's going to be a nice sear on them. You're going to have those pretty grill marks as well. We like to have our lamb chops medium, but you can cook them the way you would like to have them, the way you prefer them. Look at that. Look how pretty they are. But you definitely want that nice, hot, crisp part of the corn sugar. After I just feel it nice and hot. Look at that. I'm going to cook these on each side for two to three minutes, and then I'm going to turn them. Now we're going to flip our lamb chop. It's been two and a half minutes. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that, guys. Oh, I know you want some. I know you can taste it through the phone. Yes. This is a must just to make this recipe for Christmas. This is going to be an appetizer. Oh, one of your dishes that you prepare for Christmas. Even for New Year's. And let this go for two minutes and then they'll be done. 
Look at that, you guys. They are literally glistening. So guys, our lamb chops are finally done. I'm gonna hit it with just a pinch of salt. And I'm also gonna dress it up with some parsley flakes. Look at that. Look at that. Hey guys, so please subscribe to this channel, enjoy this video, try this recipe, and until my next video, you guys stay blessed and less stressed. Bye!